And so would we likely need a lawyer when that happens if we know that it was very clear sure. that this yeah. was an issue? Sure. Yeah. I mean, whether they ended up having the job, landing the job or not, is not the issue, but clearly. Right. Yeah, and I, you use the, firm, the term employer and employee, so I'm assuming they're already in that position. If it's a potential employer and a potential employee, a little different situation. Which is why I was alluding to right. the labor exactly. the labor relations. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, years ago when we know of that happening, are you likely to say now that it's less likely to happen now because there's so much more attention to both HIPAA and laws like this that are, even with manuals that are being distributed to various companies so that they're supposed to know and observe? Is that le less likely to happen now? I don't know. If I, th I think in companies are well um, educated about it now. I think they know what the ramifications are. I, I, I don't think that uh, um, it's as rampant as it was many, many years ago before we had these laws. Um, so nowadays, and for everything we do, I'm certain there's a, a right. law to cover it. Yeah, and certainly they're going to be aware now mm -hmm. that they're not supposed to do it. You could say at one time, you know, maybe there's a little ignorance of the law or whatever, and you know, it's not that big a deal. Now people know that you can't go and get someone's confidential records and if you do that you are violating their rights. Do you, in working with businesses, do you ever have an occasion where you have to work with an HR department and review what they've done, what their policies are, what they haven't done, whether they have policy manuals, whether or not they have these uh, disclosure forms or do you have to deal with that? Is that part of a, a legal process right now that's I, I've consulted with uh, employers in the past. Um, I've gotten calls as to, um, you know, what's the what's the Family Medical Leave Act in this state, uh, Massachusetts? What are my obligations as a, sm a small business owner? I don't have more than 20 employees. I have 50 employees, uh, less than 50 employees. You know, does the fair Family Medical Leave Act apply, or is there a different provision in the state? Yeah, I, I've gotten, mm -hmm. I've received um, calls and consulted with businesses to. to uh, Right. review recent laws. And the laws are always changing, too, so it's not something that's stagnant. They're always changing. And there are lawyers who specialize in helping small businesses, even medium and large-sized businesses, write employee man manuals. Yeah. It's a good HR. idea. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good idea to have a, a procedure, a policy in place for things that may come up in the course of uh, someone's employment. An entirely new topic, but related, is this family leave. Could you, uh, could you please give us the outline of what that encompasses? You have the uh, Family Medical Leave Act. Uh, is a federal act, uh, which basically says uh, for any employer who has more than 50 uh, employees, um, they're required to allot a certain amount of time for the employees for, for leave, for family medical leave, for an illness, for uh, a spouse, a child, um, and in some cases it's up to 13 weeks. Um, Massachusetts, if it's for a maternity, it would be an eight-week leave, but basically the federal law is there that says if you have an illness in the family, you're allowed to take a leave of absence without the worry of losing your job. The Act provides that you can return to your position or something similar to it in the same pay, the same status, um, so you're protected from having to um, worry about uh, a loss of job, loss of income. They don't have to pay you, but you, al you also are protected from the act of knowing that you can't be fired. Your, your job is protected. Mm -hmm. I think there's some small requirements. I won't say small, but some requirements. I, is it you have to work there for a year? Twelve years. Twelve for consecutive 12 months. months. Yeah. Yeah. And go back to what is paid. What are the requirements? What are the benefits? Paid, unpaid? How do they make that distinction? I understand they might have to keep the job open for 12 months, but are there occasions that someone's able to um, get benefits or get some sort of compensation while they're on maternity leave or they're taking care of a sick child, sick husband, whatever? I don't think the law provides that they have to pay you, but it's the individual employer's policy. So if they have a policy in place that allows you to take paid maternity leave, then certainly, yeah, you'll be able to take the leave at pay. Um, but usually what they do is they want you to exhaust all of your vacation time, sick time, right. days it, off. It's sort of what... That's legitimate. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it, it's sort of what I was saying in, when we were talking earlier about having a policy in place. So mm -hmm. if someone's writing an employee manual with procedures and policies, that's one of the issues they should address. What is our position on the FMLA or whatever mm -hmm. Family Medical Leave Act and how do we implement it? Changes state from to state? 
Yeah, it, for instance, in Rhode Island, uh, you don't have to have uh, 50 employees or more for the act to apply to you. Um, and, and Rhode Island provides 13 weeks as long as you've been working for the employer for 12 consecutive months. Massachusetts, if you're out on Maternity Leave Act, then um, they can give you up to eight weeks. It doesn't have to be the 13 weeks. Right. So it does, it does differ from state to state. And what about public versus private? Is there any difference, public companies versus private companies? Same law well, then, applies? Public, well, then you look to, if it's a public company, for instance, you mean uh, like a state, a state employer? Public, that's what I was going to ask you. Do you uh, mean a, a lodge company lodge that's company, publicly, publicly owned by owned. stock? Hmm. Uh, the Does rules are going to be the same. It is the because same. Especially those are the companies you would expect that would have 50 or more employees yes. and fall under the federal act and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, the rules that apply to a large company are the same as apply to a small company, and the rules that would apply to a state job are very much the same. And again, it's all based on a number of different labor issues that really are not part of this, but is there a union contract, is there federal uh, rules that apply to this particular job, that type of thing. And what happens with the... Um less than a stellar employee who has learned to game the system. I'm entitled to X number of weeks for one illness, and then I'm back to work, and I'm suddenly pregnant, and I'm entitled to whatever, and it falls within the calendar year. What do you do about that? Well, you want to make sure. That, but I think the employee has a right to ask for a physician's note if it's the employee, him, her, himself or herself, going out on the medical leave. If it's for a family member, I don't believe that the employer has the right to ask for a, a, a doctor's right. note proving that there's an illness. Um, you've got to be vigilant. I, I, you, know, you have yeah. to be vigilant. You know, it, if the employee is a gamer and he's come to that point um, of using your system and your pro policies and procedures, you, how is their work? Because, again, unless they're covered by a union or an employment contract, Rhode Island is still a um, state where it's employment at will. Is that true of Massachusetts employment mm -hmm. yeah. at will? Well, you know, what's, odd, uh, what's unique about Massachusetts is they do have the FMLA, which provides up to 12 weeks, uh, 13 weeks of leave, but tagged on to that is the Massachusetts Maternity Leave Act, which also says if the subsequent illness is for a maternity leave, you can tack on another eight weeks. Eight weeks. So essentially, you think about Almost it. Almost a half a year off. <laughs> really? I mean, that's part of the act. I mean, there's a specific provision in Massachusetts that allows for, you know, family medical leave, and then there's a specific provision that also allows for maternity leave. So um, you actually can um, tack it on to the 12. I'm not saying that you have to go out there and, and give anybody any ideas, but um, it's unique in Massachusetts and different in Rhode Island. Do you find that there are many uh, cases right now that are um, revolving around this family? Act? I don't see too much. Not I think when it was practice. first enacted right. um, during the Clinton administration, I think it wasn't enacted, you saw a little a little controversy over it and trying to implement it. Right. Not, it. Not too much now. And people had to test what the rules and requirements were mm -hmm. under the Act, but it, it's not part of our practice. Uh, again, this probably would fall more under an employment type attorney um, practice. Yeah. HR issues continue. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, federally, do you find that there are, uh, nationally I should say, do you find that there are many more people who are looking to um, put in place a plan so that everyone understands what these terms are nationally? I mean, is there more interest in people um, checking the handbooks and checking it twice. Well, I think the law requires that employers have uh, disclosed in a conspic conspicuous area what the act is. So, I mean, that's true from state to state, if that's what you're asking. They have to disclose. Um, so, you know, the posters they have in, in, in break rooms? Yes. That ha mm -hmm. The law mandates that that is uh, in a conspicuous place. Yeah. So the employees have to be aware of the, and the We rights. talked a little bit at one point mm -hmm. in time about federal law preempting state law. And yes. If there's a conflict, federal law is going to That prevails? Prevail. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Thank you. We certainly have more issues to talk about relative to this, but we also are thinking about discussing more with disabilities. Join us. Legal Matters continues. <laughs>